Yes, sir. <laughs> Today's the day. Today's the day. 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 Hey, friends. Hey, my loves. Hey, my beautiful, beautiful people. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another video. As you guys can tell by the title, today is a story time video. That's why I'm excited. That's why I'm smiling already. Okay, okay, okay. Today is a story time video. I'm gonna be sharing with you a little story time or whatever. So, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that. If you have seen this outfit, by the way, in another video, it's okay. Just be walk up pass by. Okay, what can it be going? Don't be saying some song, song like that. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I recorded a few videos today. So, but if you're interested in also seeing how I created this makeup look, then definitely check my Instagram page. That's why I do like my mini tutorials and stuff like that. I also did a video of how I like revamped this wig and how I laid it again and like my few my my new wig lane oh what am i saying that's too much words in my mouth if you also want to see a video of how like i laid my hair and like this a video on this hair i definitely have it i'll leave i'll leave it in the cards or in the description box below just so you can check it out i really want to rush into this video because i can't wait to tell you guys because i know that's what you're here to do Kokosa? yes <laughs> okay so before we get in subscribe to my channel turn on the bell button so you don't miss an upload and follow me on all social media platforms yes and also grab a class grab something grab something we're drinking wine because this is supposed to be sip and chat okay and in all honesty i feel like since the beginning of this year i haven't really done any videos on a sip and chat which was precisely supposed to be like chatty videos so we're drinking set at home this is literally the only wine that i drink it's the only wine that i can stand i mean currently so yeah pouring myself a glass because it's sip and chat so we're sipping and chatting so be sure to oops i don't want to finish it <laughs> so be sure to grab something water anything just make sure that it's bougie make it look bougie okay just make it look bougie <laughs> Okay, let's take our first sip, guys. But first of all, cheers. Cling, cling. Anyway, I love story times. Like, I love to hear stuff because I did radio broadcasting, so which means that I love a little bit of cocoa. It's not here and there, you know. So, okay, so let me relax. Let's, 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 let's have a little relaxation, okay? So, this, this whole story time happened when I was in secondary school or SHS. I don't know where you're watch, watching from but in ghana i'm, I'm a Ghanaian. i'm from ghana uh, and in ghana we have like a schooling system you go through like shs if you're from ghana you don't need to listen to this part but yeah our schooling system we have like junior high senior high uni then and so on and so forth so i happen to be in fourth year when all of this happened i happened to be a part of the four-year batch or whatever and so um i'm not going to mention mention the name of the characters obviously so we're going to look for dummy names for them so i i happened to so we i don't know where to oh this is so crazy like i had the whole story in my head and i didn't even know where to start from in fourth year we had like a couple of national service teachers come through and so in our school, I don't know if it was in every school, but if you're wondering which school I attended, I attended Asasawa Senior High School. If you don't know, Asasawa Senior High School is in the eastern region of Ghana, pretty close to Krobo Girls and stuff like that. But yeah, so our like we had national service teachers come through to teach, and in our school, what happens is that the national service teachers they don't teach like the seniors when i was in the fourth year at the time that that this group of teachers came through so they they weren't like my teacher so this particular person let's call him poland i have water here poland spring so let's call him let's call him poland so 
Poland was like one of the national service teachers who had come through at the time to teach and I was a senior in like my fourth year getting ready to get through school and like graduate and stuff like that Ooh, juicy <laughs> so <laughs> they came through for their national service and yada yada and so I happened to meet Poland and I happen to actually like Paul and like we like we happen to like each other. So like I happen to like we happen to like each other and like we became friends, we started kicking it, you know, like regular friends like that. And they were like it was in school because they're like national service personals and you're a student so you have to act like a student. You are no not like act like a student, you have to be a student and like they okay so they happened to like i mean like we're kicking it off like we were friends we started off as friends obviously and because it was cool so we couldn't make it anything like official official you know so i mean moving forward then we started dating and a few of my friends sort of knew that we're together and like yeah like we're just uh, you know just and you know national service teachers are like young don't get me wrong they're they're like our age mates who are just out of uni and uh, looking like they serve the country for a year so that's that's what national service people do I mean that's what national service is about so now moving forward I also happen to have a school daughter matter of fact I had school daughters I had a lot of school daughters if you also don't know what a school daughter or who a school daughter is in secondary school you a senior is sort of made to mentor mentor like a younger a junior so usually when you come in as a junior or as a first year or as a freshman student as a freshman you have like a senior who is sort of like your mentor so you're they're going to like guide you through the school show you a few school rules like show you what like what to do what not to do because like even though you're going to go through orientation you need like somebody on the ground to actually run you through the whole process and like protect sort of protect you and stuff like like a big sister kind of and then the men have like a big brother so I as like a senior had a couple of freshman students who were my school daughters that's what we call them so I had like two or three or four I was pretty good so I had like a, a few school daughters because that's that's the criteria like you need to be good you need to have food in your chop box then they'll be around you you need to as but I on the other hand like I was like a proper mom like I was washing like caring for them you know like it felt good to do even though <laughs> so I had a school daughter who wasn't like pro my proper proper school daughter she was a friend's school daughter like a very close friend's school daughter so she happened to sort of be my school niece it was so crazy this whole family tree is school, secondary schools so we're like pretty close and she sort of knew that I had a thing to do with this national service personnel sip <laughs> And moving forward, I realized that, so let, let's call that school daughter um, Sata. So Poland and Sata, these are the two main characters in this story, Poland and Sata. So Sata, who happens to be my kind of school daughter, not so school daughter, became friends or was friends with Poland. And I, did, I don't know how it started, but I sort of assumed that because Poland was a teacher for the junior section of the school, it, it made sense that he knew a couple of the junior students. So I didn't really have a problem or I, I wasn't really like looking at it that much. Plus, she was my school daughter. Well, she was like my kind of school daughter. So moving forward, like I had like rumors, like my a few of my friends coming like coming by to tell me you know what i've been seeing this girl standing here with your man you know what i've been seeing this doing this like you know what i saw them here at this time you know like all of that hmm. and you know there's an iota of truth in every rumor that you hear and i sort of debunked everything like i wasn't listening to what people were saying i 
I didn't like I, I didn't make anything out of it because like she knew that I was with him he knew that he was my she was my school daughter it didn't add up I mean I think I was naive pretty naive at the time to think that it didn't add up <laughs> but moving forward like it, the rumors just kept coming people kept telling me that I need to be careful of her and you know what like you know when someone is doing something and like you obviously I, I have to be sure I'm recording you know when someone is doing something and you are not saying anything but they feel guilty and so they begin to put on some attitude so that's what happened between me and Sata, who happened to be like my school daughter. She sort of began to put on this kind of attitude, which I don't know where it was, where it was coming from. Like we didn't have any problems, we didn't have any differences whatsoever. But all of a sudden, she started putting on attitude. So now, fast forward, she sort of, I think she, I approached the issue. I asked Poland. And Poland said that oh he was helping her with like schoolwork and stuff like that. And one thing about Sata is that she, which happens to be my school daughter, she's very like lovey, like babyish. Like it's easy for you to just like her. Like <clears throat> she's likable like that. So it, I wasn't quite surprised that she had been able to get in the book, good books of Poland, or he has been able to get him to help him with a few things so to him to help her with a few things so that i approached it on like with him and that's what he said he said that yada yada and that he was just helping her with schoolwork and i know that that's his job and so i can't make so much of an issue out of it plus it was school you know like you can't go and be fighting in school you know like how dare you how dare you <laughs> you know so me with like my big 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 huge ego decided not to ask ask sata because obviously she was one she was my junior and also two she was like I, to me i was like i'm not about to do this with you like really i'm not about to one fight over a man two with a younger person hell no but my husband i will <laughs> I mean that's my husband you know what I mean so <sighs> so like I wasn't going to approach it with hair because I didn't see the essence of doing that I felt like if you guys want to kick it kick it even though I was gonna still be hurt you know so but at one time she just randomly started telling me herself that the guy it was crazy like she was now giving me the tea on the guy and telling me that the guy was actually married or almost getting ready to marry he had like a proper proper fiance <laughs> proper proper fiance that they had gone to do the family introduction and like everything like <clears throat> both families knew each other like poland's family knew his family like the fiance's family and all of that like so many things but who am i to believe sata because obviously sata is also you know like to me she was acting like a two-faced bitch forgive the use of my word you know but like i said there's truth in every rumor and i tell truth in every rumor that you hear so i didn't totally scrap it i like low-key started seeing id <laughs> like low-key started looking into it low-key started looking out for the truth and i didn't find out till after i got out of school after i completed school when me and him sort of still like we still had a thing going we still like i actually sort of thought that we were going to be okay after school like because i was going to get out of school so i thought that oh that was it for me you know like after school i have a boyfriend like you know like oh like i don't have to come and look for a boyfriend out here in the streets because they're crazy you know so i was kind of okay happy with the fact that i had it and after school i visited him a couple of times and only for him to tell me that oh it is true and he actually has a very serious person and 
that because we were in secondary school or i was in secondary school so he didn't think that it was anything too serious or he didn't think that i had taken it serious or i thought that we had anything after like so there's <laughs> there's this term in school where it's like help me complete my course is literally what he, even though he wasn't a student that's literally what he did <laughs> that was literally what he did so to come to my title when i found out and like when like i realized that that everything was going downhill and he told me the truth and like everything was just crazy i remember so well i was on like a mini vacation at my best friend's house so my best friend at the time from secondary school i mean from a different secondary school we're from JS, jhs and she went to a different secondary school i'm gonna mention her name in case she's watching this video hopefully she remembers her name is bell richie so i was like having like i like we usually i usually spend if like a month or a month or a week or two weeks or whatever like every time on my vacation or almost every time i go for a vacation at my friend's place because i'm the only daughter so it's kind of boring in my home so i was at a vacation like a mini vacation after school type because i had completed secondary school she as well so we're just like catching up and she was my friend like i mean she <laughs> was my best friend at the time so we're just like catching up and like saying school stuff and and like this was me had the news like and like me and him were going to be together again and like everything was ending because now he and the girl are like proper proper serious and they are like getting into marriage like it was that serious and me hearing all of this at my friend's place i remember so well i was in my friend's room and i was sitting in the corner like literally <laughs> i'm literally picturing it picturing it right now i was sitting in the corner of the bed and i had the news and i remember the bedside table she my friend usually has like a lot of like drugs and like some drugs i mean like first aid kits with like little little paracetamol like propofen like stuff like that so what I did is, me hearing the news, I <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but me hearing the news, I took the medicine. Oh my god, <laughs> my phone just stopped recording. I don't know at which point, but it just stopped. <laughs> so, my. They just like she was able to i opened the door for her i put the medicine away obviously i didn't take it anymore because my inner voice was like girl are you really gonna do that like she was actually laughing at me which made me feel like i'm being stupid <laughs> so i'm like you know what this is trash this guy is actually going to be okay he's going to have babies and join with his wife and i will be dead and nobody will even remember my name so I'm not going to do it so I just put it away opened the door for my friend and my friend is so stupid like she came inside to see what I was doing and only for her to laugh she was laughing said hey who are they I didn't do it like I but I was so hurt that's like what I'm trying to say like I was hurt I was hurt about the fact that like I wasn't pre-informed like you don't just mess with somebody's mind like that you know like I was in full-time and you were in part-time which doesn't make it make sense so relationships can be crazy like a lot of crazy things happen like i was watching i think i was watching somebody's instagram story and the person was talking about heartbreaks and how they really put you in a bad place and they really do put you in a bad place like i know a lot of people who have gone crazy and like have lost their lives and yada yada over like heartbreaks you know so heartbreaks are really crazy but the tall and short of everything is if you're going through a heartbreak right now i hope that you find strength and i hope that you know that the guy or the girl is chilling without you right now
and if that doesn't hurt you to get out of that chair and make yourself feel better then i don't know what will because i'm not going to sit down for another man to be chilling and me crying over him hell no it's not gonna happen so yeah that is literally it for what happened how i almost killed myself over an over like a man like how i almost overdosed on drugs over a man like would i be here by now would i have had my beautiful daughter by now like i'm a whole married woman like it is crazy okay secondary school girls don't go and be dating your national service teachers they will break your heart <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys liked it i hope you enjoyed your glass of wine glass of water or whatever i'll see you guys next time in another sip in our ananda <laughs> but i'll see you guys next time in our next sip and chat video i hope you like it and yeah don't forget to not die over a heartbreak i love you bye <laughs>